This may very well turn out to be one of the most expensive virtue signalling experiments in US corporate history. Back in October last year, Hertz first showed signs of backing away from its suicidal EV strategy, in which it announced back in 2021 that it was buying no less than 100,000 Teslas for its rental fleet. It said that due to increased collision and damage repair costs, it would be purchasing EVs at a slower rate than previously planned. There are so many reasons why EVs are possibly the worst choice for vehicles for rental companies, but apparently none of these were raised at the time. Reasons such as they are way more expensive to purchase in the first place, they're more expensive to repair when they get damaged, they're more likely to get into accidents than regular cars due to stupid levels of torque, they have catastrophic depreciation and woeful residual value when they're sold on, and most importantly, nobody wants them! Seriously, when you're in a strange country and you want reliable practical transportation for you and your family, what sane person is ever going to choose an EV, with all the hassle of charging and worries over range, over a standard gas car? But this didn't stop Hertz from ploughing ahead with electrifying its fleet in order to appease the ESG zealots in the boardroom, a decision which barely two years later has come spectacularly full circle, as Hertz offloads its ghastly Teslas and buys back gas cars instead. Seriously, you couldn't make this stuff up. If you're after EV and net zero sanity, you've come to the right place. Welcome to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer, now Sydney YouTuber. If you like my videos and content, please be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell and drop a comment down below. Let's take a trip down memory lane to remind ourselves how Hertz was fated by the Biden White House for its decision to drink the EV Kool-Aid. In a tweet from March 2023, Hertz bragged, This morning, Hertz was recognised by the White House for our efforts to expand access to electric vehicles across the country. Demand for EV rentals is growing, and we're here to help our customers electrify their travels. Hashtag Hertz Let's Go, hashtag Hertz EV. The Biden government called out Hertz in its electric vehicle fact sheet for committing to substantially increase its electric vehicle rentals this year, forecasting nearly 2 million EV rentals in 2023, approximately five times the number of EV rentals in 2022, and extending the electric vehicle experience to leisure and business travellers and rideshare drivers across the country. And as recently as this month, Hertz was continuing to plug its EV fleet on Twitter X, with some truly awful and cheesy video clips like this one on January the 3rd. Watch this before you rent an EV from Hertz. Just got on the Tesla, super excited. First thing I noticed, check out that touchscreen. It's an incredibly smooth and quiet ride, and the huge sunroof makes for a beautiful drive. When it was time to recharge, I located a charging station using Tesla's built-in navigation system. Easy. Woo, let's go! And before I knew it, I was home for the holidays, and officially a fan of EVs. Thanks, Hertz! Or this one in December, which seems to say that 10 charges for your journey, which may take an hour or more each, is a good thing. But barely a few days later, the story was somewhat different. White House praised Hertz for accelerating the EV transition months before company began dumping EVs. Hertz calls mass sell-off of electric vehicle inventory a strategic decision. The White House praised Hertz, one of the four largest car rental companies in the world, for its efforts to substantially increase electric vehicle EV rentals months before the company announced it would largely abandon EVs over increasing costs. On Thursday, Hertz Global Holdings announced in financial filings that it made the strategic decision to sell approximately 20,000 EVs from its US fleet, or about one-third of its global EV fleet. According to the documents filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission, Hertz sales of EVs began in December and will continue in an orderly fashion throughout 2024, and a portion of the proceeds from those transactions will be invested in new gas-powered cars. The company expects this action to better balance supply against expected demand of EVs, the company stated, before pointing to the high costs of managing EVs. This will position the company to eliminate a disproportionate number of lower margin rentals and reduce damage expense associated with EVs.
the company will continue to execute its strategy around EV mobility and offer customers a wide selection of vehicles. Going forward, the company will continue to actively manage the total size of its EV fleet, as well as the allocation of EVs among customer segments, including leisure, corporate, government and rideshare, it continued. This, if you haven't worked it out, is corporate gobbledygook for the following. Nobody wants EVs. They're too expensive, so we're getting rid of them to buy gas cars that people actually want which is an astonishing turnaround in barely two years. And to actually admit to having to reinvest in gas cars is the final humiliation in this story of corporate virtue signaling gone bad. We can only imagine the blood on the walls of the Hertz boardroom at this utter debacle. Will it make any difference to the whole EV push? Probably not. Governments will continue to push EVs against the will of the majority of the people until they start getting voted out which may take a long time. And sad to say, a lot of damage can be done to our economies before that finally happens. That's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you have any tips or stories, you can hit me up on Instagram or by email. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.